Hi. I was going to save this for a Tuesday tidbit video, but eh, I couldn't wait. I've been getting a lot of emails and comments, people asking me about the new XYZ printing DaVinci Pro. It's a 3D printer with a future option for a laser etching that is open source. Well, at least it's an open source filament printer as the way they advertise it. As you know, if you've watched this channel, I've had my own run-ins with the Da Vinci's, and I've done a lot of videos on these things. And I was really, really frustrated with the whole software blocking and the whole cartridge thing. And I told them, well, this is what I said. I reflashed a repetier just like many others to get more control for other plastics, different temperatures, different settings. That's what we need to really be successful 3D printing. And that's all I was asking. So, I don't know. Hopefully someday they, they figure that out. And apparently they did. You asked and we listened is what they said. And this printer allows us to adjust the temperatures and different settings and use third-party filaments. Now, I know there's some people out there that would say, I probably had nothing to do with that decision. And that XYZ Printing already had that thing planned. Eh, maybe that's true. But I believe what we're doing here at this channel with all the viewers, the subscribers, my Patreon supporters, my silent YouTube donators. To me, we're all coming together. We're sharing information. We're sharing tips and tricks. I think we're all making 3D printing a better place. And I believe that our opinion actually affected this. And let me tell you why. Here's a screenshot from a video that XYZ Printing released on their own YouTube channel on June 4th, over a month before my video came out. So in their video from June 4th, which is a video from the 2015 Computex in Taipei, they introduce the DaVinci Pro. And in their own video they show it has a laser etch and wireless feature. No 3D printing. But yet now look at all these 3D printing features added so this machine that was etch, laser etch only becomes an open source 3D printer in that short a time? <laughs> I think we had an impact. Even if it was small, I think we had an impact. And it's not just us. Other people in the 3D print community have been asking for this for a while. That's why the Repetier software was created. That's why the resetters were created. And XYZ listened. And it may have taken them a while, but they listened. And I give them a thumbs up for that. Well now, if XYZ is listening or watching this video, I have a message for you. Finish the job. I'll give you two thumbs up for this. All your customers who bought your 1.0s and 2.0s and all the different printers, who have had to put up with your blocking software and your cartridges that failed and all the tech support that they weren't really getting because of this blocking issue, finish the job. Give us the pro firmware update for these guys. I'm not saying it has to do the laser etch. I don't expect that. But get rid of the blocking. Let us print other filaments. I know that's mostly a uh, firmware update. That's how it could be done so quick. So release that for the 1.0s. I'm not saying sell it to us because we've already paid for these machines and we've already paid a bunch of time and money towards cartridges that failed and everything else. If you really want to help the community, if you want to get back in good standing with us, show us that you care and release an update for these guys. Show me that and I'll give you two thumbs up. So I hope they're watching. For everyone else out there, tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about this whole situation. That's all I've got for now. I'll see you next time.